Hope having a wonderful Friday morning. Today is <coughs> January 14th, guys. It's good. The January is almost halfway over here. Uh, anyway, good uh, Friday. Happy Friday to all of you. Uh, so this morning, we, we are going to have some fun this morning. I'm really excited about this morning's our live streaming. We are going to compare two geishas, okay? One from Panama and one from Colombia. So it should be a lot of fun. By the way, so this is one from Good Brothers Coffee. So, I mean, the brand from Good Brothers Coffee, they are known for like milk-based drink and, you know, some prover. But I've been asking him, bugging him for geisha for years now, okay? So finally... He come through for us. I think he has a limited uh, quantity of geisha. So anyway, uh, so we are going to compare Good Brothers Panama Geisha versus Hatch. Okay, uh, El Parisiso Luna. This coffee is spectacular. I tried it many times. I love it. This one I tried it yesterday. Really good too. So we're gonna go head to head using DF64. Okay, using the F64, I changed to multi-purpose uh, birth set from SSP. And then, you know what? Uh, if you guys are thinking about getting the F64, which birth set you want to upgrade? If you want, if you guys like, uh, you know, espresso or prover, like kind of multi-purpose, okay? Definitely go with the multi-purpose uh, birth set. But if you, if you guys like the purely espresso only, and then, boy... I think I go with a high uniformity, but it all depends on you. But there is a two distinct, uh, uh, kind of like the taste difference between multi-purpose versus uh, high uniformity. I did a video on that yesterday, so if you guys are curious about it, make sure to check out yesterday's video. Uh, if not, let's get going. This morning, I'm going to be using 10 grams, each, 10 grams of each, okay, using the V60 method. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, single pour method uh, from uh, Vincent. Okay, Vincent is the uh, owner of Terrace Coffee. He showed me how to do the single pour instead of, you know, 30 second blooming phase. We're just going to do the single pour much faster. I like the results as well. So we're going to do the single pour method. And then I set water temperature at 94 Celsius. Uh, let's get going. Should be a lot of fun. Okay, should be a lot of fun for this morning's video. I'm gonna heat up my water there. Oh, so again, goodness, I'm gonna bring out the, I'm gonna be, I have two scares here. One is Akaya Lunar. Uh, one is a timer, the Black Mirror Nano, okay? So I have a two different scale. I think I'm gonna, see which one is easier to use at the same time. So we are doing a lot of comparison this morning. We are doing some, a lot of comparison. So I'm going to measure out 10 grams. These are all, they're all light roast as well. Ten gram exact. I'm going to go slightly go above, maybe like 10.3, okay, 10.4, 10.31 one there. And then with the Akaya scale, I'm going to be doing the Panama Geisha. Both 10.3 gram. Okay, let's uh, prep the paper. So with this method, I like to fold it, but I like to fold it like so. Okay, I'm going to one side is a little something like that. Okay. Have a little angle there. Just to make sure everything is run nice and fit. Okay. All right. Good. 
Okay, first step, I'm going to wet the paper. I'm just going to, I'm going to push down the paper here. Just make sure I'm going to be nice and tight. push down like this okay if you guys are new to pour over I'm telling you this method is fantastic I'm just gonna make sure I set at 94 Celsius I'm just gonna discard Paper is all nicely cleaned. All right, I think we are. Okay. So I'm gonna set up a two station here. One for Panama and one for Hatch, okay? So let's get going. I'm gonna start with, actually it's gonna be, uh, I'm gonna start with uh, Panama, Geisha from Group Brothers Coffee. I'm going to be using 1 to 15 ratio. Okay, but I like to usually use the bellow. I'm not going to do that because whenever I use the bellow, it's going to be come out all the fines. Uh, you don't want the fines. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to straight through. That's the reason why I went a little over. So this one is the Let's see, uh, Panama Geisha from Good Brothers Coffee. So I got exactly 9.5 grand, okay. I'm going to, again, I'm going to try to shoot for 150 grams of output there. Okay. I'm just going to use my stir stick here. Make a little nice bed on the middle. Okay, I'm going to start with Panama Geisha first. So again, I'm going to try to, try to shoot for around 100, maybe 145 to 150. I'm going to start the time. And then the pour is going to happen uh, within 45 seconds. Start the timer. Just going to start from the middle. Let's go nice and easy. Go up to 150 gram. There we go. At this point, I'm going to be using my stick. I'm just going to swerve it. Kind of like outer to in. Just make sure everything is all nice and clean. Shake it as well. Just make sure everything is all. Should be takes about a minute and 30 seconds. So this, <clears throat> so this is Panama Geisha. Okay, so I'm gonna be prepared for the next batch. So this is going to be the uh, Hatch Luna, okay? For, 
The thing is, I have a uh, old copy beans from Panama Geisha, so I'm just gonna flush it out, okay? Because you do not want to contaminate the Luna here, so I'm just gonna run it, flush it. As you can see, we have this old fines coming out here. We don't want that. Okay. I'm just going to clean. So let's move on to hatch uh, geisha there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this smells wonderful. Okay. Again, I got 9.7 there, 9.8. I'm just going to tear it. button to the side. The thing about the Akaya, not the Akaya, with the timer scale, the button to the side, I'm not a big fan of. Okay. I'm gonna bring up the temperature to 94 Celsius. Again, if you are just joining us this morning, we are comparing two geisha. One from Good Brothers Coffee, the Panama Geisha versus the, this is one of my favorite, the Hatch Columbia Geisha. So it should be very interesting. And then we are using the DF64 using SSP multi burr set there, the multi purpose. Okay, I'm going to start my timer. Just start from the middle to the outside. Go up to about 150 gram. There we go. At this point, I'm just going to use my <clears throat> stir stick, stir it, agitate the grounds, just give it a quick swirl. Now I'm trying, to, again, <clears throat> everything should be under two minutes. All right. Okay, so meantime, uh, the other, uh, the Panama Geisha is ready. So let's try that first. Okay, let's do some taste on uh, Panama Geisha right now. <clears throat> so Hatch is still brewing right now. So it should be done in about another, what, 10 or 15 seconds or so. So this is the uh, Panama Geisha. Tasting note is jasmine, raspberry, and grape. Man, it smells great. Okay. Getting very close there. Another 30 more seconds maybe, even 10. Okay, 
Happy Friday. Cheers. Man. Smooth. Love the jasmine. It's fantastic. <coughs> okay. So let's move on to we got the pen. Uh, so this is the Columbia Geisha from Hatch. Boy, smells great as well. <clears throat> I mean, look at the clarity, guys. How clear this beautiful color. And then once you cool down, you're gonna bring out the more flavor as well. Yeah. So this is again a uh, Panama Geisha. Okay. Hmm. Fantastic. I'm gonna wash down some water. If you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. Okay, welcome to daily live streaming. Just make sure to join the chat, okay? We have great group of community. Uh, you know, if you have any questions or comment, well, most likely some of, you know, most, most likely we have answer for you uh, during the chat room. So make sure to ask them, okay? So this is a, a Luna uh, from Hatch, okay? You got yours. Wow. Okay. Okay, so we have clear winner, okay? So let's, if, if I'm gonna rate this right now, okay, if I'm gonna rate it, I'm gonna give uh, the Brent's Good Brothers Coffee. Okay, but it's not a fair comparison though, okay, by the way. Uh, this is a roasted on January 4th. So it, it's about 10 days old, okay, 10 days old. So this is not the uh, prime to drink, okay? I bet you I'm gonna wait about another week. It'd be amazing. But so this one, it's been vacuum sealed for a while. So this one roasted on uh, December 9th, okay? But, so now this is kind of, like, I, I don't wanna say past the prime, but Still amazing, okay, still good. Okay, but so right now, I didn't even, so this one, I just set at number, okay? So I think this one, I, so this one was more, I set to Panama yesterday. So that's about the same number there. I set it as a Panama. But, so this one, I didn't even dialed in either, okay? Hold on, let's give it a Panama one more time here. Man. So this is the Luna from Hatch. I don't know what, how they did it. I think they do some kind of ferment process for uh, the Luna from Hatch. The clear winner is I have to give to uh, Hatch for sure, okay, because the fragrance is amazing, but uh, uh, if I'm gonna rate this, I think I'm gonna give uh, Brent from Good Brothers Coffee about nine, okay? Nine for this one. He did a really good job, okay? He did a fantastic job. But Hatch, I get a, I get a bit of a 9.5 because just, because since this is, uh, I think it's past prime too, but still hold that flavor. Yeah, I, I, again, I don't know how they did it, but goodness. So this one used a two-stage fermented process, okay? Two-stage fermented process. Uh, Brent's uh, Geisha was well, uh, just a natural process as well, so a different process. And okay, price difference is huge. Uh, Brent has a limited quantity, but you know, I think, I think he's selling for like what, 20 some dollars, right? 20 or whatever. And I do have a coupon code for Good Brothers Coffee as well. I'm gonna put the link down below. I have a coupon code for that too. Uh, fantastic coffee, but this one, there's no coupon code, okay? So this one I spent, 
actually I did spend on this one uh, from Canada I think I spent what uh, 39 dollars I think 39 bucks for 200 gram folks so this one is not a daily coffee that this is something you want to enjoy maybe a couple times a year perhaps but again uh, grinder makes huge difference okay I, I felt like the multi-purpose a special multi-purpose bursa bring out that even more flavor compared to high uniformity because high uniformity you can actually taste the different parts of coffee okay and then with the multi-purpose blend everything in such i like it a lot okay i really like the multi-purpose for the pour over uh, i don't know about espresso but pour over is fantastic there It's good because I think uh, yesterday uh, I used a Panama Geisha uh, compare that with the multi-purpose versus the high uniformity but with this one good uh, comparing the multi-purpose with a different Geisha man goodness boy but again it's all depend on what you guys like though okay it all depend on what you guys like uh let's see again if you are new to the channel welcome uh welcome to the daily and uh what else so if you have any questions or comment let me know on the down below as well and then uh we got a live chat going on so if you have any questions about you know your bribery machines or uh you know let me know because I, I'm, I'm checking it right now all your questions so yeah again the hash yeah hatch I, I i think i have to give to hash but man I'm very surprised by the Good Brothers coffee, okay? The Panama Geisha. The jasmine is just, you can actually coat it, okay? Felt like coated with the jasmine flavor is great. But this hatch is goodness. Something about hatch though, okay? Uh, let me know if you, have you, got, have you guys ever you, uh, drink the hatch Geisha? Let me know, okay? Love to hear from you guys, okay? You love to hear your thoughts on it. Man, they're, the, yeah, they're great. By the way, so I checked out the Hatch Coffee website this morning. Hold on. This morning here, goodness, the, the Luna is all sold out, unfortunately. The Luna's gone. What else? Uh, the Lightsy is one of my favorite there. That's gone too, okay. That's unfortunate. But they have another one there, okay. They have a yuzu, okay. Anaerobic process. Let's see, what's the tasting note on this one? Yuzu, tangerine, orange, and milk tea. That sounds pretty good there. Sounds fantastic. By the way, I do have another coffee called uh, 720. Okay, 720 uh, Geisha right over there. Tastes like white miso. If you guys like white miso, boy, you're gonna love it. Okay. Yep. Let's see here. Uh, we got Enders ask. I normally drink pour over and I don't have espresso machine right now. Okay, I'm thinking about uh, going to buy the uh, P64. Do you think I'll go with the multi purpose pour or I go with HU? HU means high uniformity. If you don't have a machine, okay, I think I go with a, a multi-purpose if you can. But I don't think you have an option for that. I think uh, I think you have to go with their standard birds. And if you know a multi-purpose, you have to buy multi-purpose bird sets separately from SSP. I think that runs you about what two hundred bucks, okay. Uh, let's, I think it runs over two hundred dollars. Uh, two hundred dollars. So yeah, I mean that's good investment, Ander. So make sure to think about the grinder, okay? Because that's huge investment. Because P sixty four is not cheap grinder. So uh, if this is your first grinder, you go, you are going to purchase. Uh, make sure to do some research on it, because I definitely do research on the which grinder because I do enjoy. Okay, I have a luxury to have in you know, a multi, uh, you know. A lot of grinders here on my coffee cave but yeah 
But if you are spending that kind of money, make sure do your research, just make sure that's the grinder you want. Because you're gonna have for a long time. So yeah, make sure, yeah. Make sure to do the proper research. Because uh, yeah. Let's see, what else? Uh, uh comes to grinder setting, that's all depends. Okay. Uh, I mean that's something you have to play with. So definitely you're gonna play with. I think I might do one more time, okay. Uh, since so this shot was the one the Panama Geisha was a little fat a little slow there from that method so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one more pour over you know what maybe uh, maybe I should do that later not right now yeah never mind let's do that later uh, super 23 talking about the blade grinder nah you know what not for this one I don't want to waste Good coffee on blade grinder. Okay, hold on. I think the fixed, uh, I'm fixed on SSP. Hi, oh, yep. I'm, again, I'm, if you're into espresso, it's all depend on what you guys like because uh, high uniformity give you that clear uh, flavor, kind of like note. If you want to, so if, okay, so let's say, so ja, uh, Panama Geisha has a uh, jasmine, raspberry, and uh, grape with high uniformity. Burst set give you that clear, so you can actually taste three different uh, tasting notes, as long as you got your grinder uh, dialed in right. Okay, with high uniform, uh, with a multi-purpose, imagine those flavors are all blending nicely. Man, it's good. Okay, I have to say they're fantastic. So, again, so this is the Luna. Yeah, they do right. I, I, I don't know what, how Hatch does. I guess they're uh, the roast, not the roaster, the fermenting process. They're very secret, uh, very secretive, secret. So they're not telling us anything. Sometimes they are uh, fermented with some kind of organic material. I have no idea how they do it, but man, they are good. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, hold on. I think we are. If you don't have any questions, I think we are pretty good. Okay. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, uh, goodness, Friday morning, guys. Today's Friday. It's already Friday. So uh, make sure thumbs uh, thumbs up on the uh, videos. And what else? Uh, I think we might do another afternoon session. I think I'm going to dial in one more time with uh, Panama Geisha later. Okay. So let's dial in properly. But because yesterday was fantastic. I think yet yeah, I think I got I, I like my coffee yesterday and then this morning for Geisha, but still uh hatch is a little better than the Panama Geisha. I think again the ferment the two stage fermented process make a huge difference in your coffee. Okay. Boy. Anyway, uh again uh, I do have a coupon code for Good Brothers Coffee, make sure to take advantage of that. Burin told me he only, only have about, what, five or six kilo on this one, so. Uh, let's see here. Dylan asked me Instagram, I don't know. Uh, if anybody wants to join the chat. Uh, oh, there, there is a coupon code out there, okay. Hun25 and also Hun27, okay. 27. You know, don't use that one. I mean, that's 27 percent off. So yeah, 25 is fine. He got to make money somehow. Anyway, uh, I hope you guys are having a great morning and uh, you know, I'll see you guys on Instagram right now.